If you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. The seventh of Funakoshi's 20 guiding principles is trouble is born of negligence or calamity springs from carelessness. <laughs> Just like many others of these precepts, this one can be used both in and out of the dojo. The easiest way to interpret it is like this. They say every single karate technique when mastered can be deadly. And if you're not careful, you can easily cause serious injury to yourself and your training partner. It comes from the idea that one attack equals one life. So again, we see the with great power comes great responsibility line pop up. Although this time it is more of a warning than an instruction. In my 25 years as a karate practitioner, there have been many times where accidents have happened. I've had to take many punches and kicks. I've had my fair share of bruises and I've given many too. And not all of them were controlled and many of them made impact. I have been injured and I have injured my partners many times. And once or twice, these injuries were pretty severe. I can share this anecdote with you guys, if you let me. I was sparring with my best friend. He's a tall guy, you might have seen in some of the videos on the channel. Anyway, we were both really getting into it. The fight was pretty intense. We knew each other, and I decided I would take the risk of taking him down with a leg sweep slash hip throw. Now, this is over 10 years ago, and since then I have become more careful. But at that split second, I wasn't. I advanced, grabbed him by the waist, swung my leg up and beside him, brought it down, twisted my hip and threw him to the ground hard. I must have miscalculated the throw, and he surely didn't expect it, which resulted in him landing awkwardly on his leg, injuring it badly. In the end, he had to quit karate for almost a year, had to have surgery on his knee. Today, he does still train, and we're cool, He's even my son's godfather. But that doesn't take away from the fact that that one split second, one tiny miscalculation, one blink of an eye, his karate career might have been over. When this video is over, please jump into the comment section below and share your battle stories with me. I'm sure most of you have, it, have had at least one story where you got injured badly or when you injured someone else. I mean, by accident in sparring or in a tournament. I don't mean out of anger or frustration, purely carelessness. Accidents are often, not always, but often the result of carelessness. This is true in the dojo, in traffic, but also on the work floor. See, a bit of sloppiness can undo exhaustive research and preparation, resulting in inconsistencies or an inability to obtain anticipated results. The same is true in war, whether in a battle involving armies or individual combat. Careless preparation or outright negligence is a clear formula for disaster. If you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. To prevent our efforts from going up in flames, we should constantly examine our actions and be cautious about our methods. Of course, we can't eliminate all accidents from our lives completely. We are only human. I'm not singing again. <laughs> but with a little effort put into being mindful of what we are doing, we can mitigate the risks of things going wrong. After all, calamity springs from carelessness. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris was once careless. He had a car accident and broke both of his legs. Don't worry, he managed to walk it off.